All right, so Ranger Academy issue three is out now. You can buy it physically at your local comic book stores or digitally on digital stores. So Ranger Academy, to be honest, I wasn't feeling this issue. This issue felt very slow, very dialogue heavy, and very inner monologue heavy as well. So this issue is sort of focused on the mystery of Sage's father and Sage trying to find her father and the mystery behind that. But then a good chunk of this issue is devoted to Sage sulking and once again feeling like she doesn't belong. And I feel like we explored that last issue and she soon got over it once she made friends. But this issue, this issue, she spent a whole chunk of this issue sobbing, feeling like she didn't belong, feeling like that people are hiding secrets from her. And she knows that she doesn't belong here, but she's got to keep this secret because, you know, she can't really tell people that she snuck on board. But like a good chunk of this issue is Sage just sulking. And I feel like we could move past that character moment of Sage sulking. Have her get over it really quickly. Have her sulk for a little bit. And then explore the campus some more. But this issue is mostly focusing on Sage's feelings. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Ranger Academy, it's targeted at a di different demographic. It's an all-ages comic. So it's not going to be sort of like that mature story that we're getting with the main run with MMPR and Darkest Hour. So I get that. This is targeted for all ages, mostly targeting at a younger demographic. I get that. I get that. But when Ranger Academy was first announced like over a year ago, I thought we'd be focusing on this sort of like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX style series when it comes to Power Rangers. And although we've gotten a couple of pages and a couple of panels where we see the school life and stuff like that, I feel like we should be focusing on mostly that instead of getting a panel or two that focuses on the school life. I feel like they could focus on a lot more if they sort of show what the school life is like instead of showing it in like a couple of pages or a couple of panels. And this issue, it has its cameos in there. And this issue, we saw the appearance of Billy, which was pretty cool. We saw the appearance of Yale and Kruger, which is pretty cool. But overall, those cameos, they're for the audience who actually knows who these characters are. So they can point and be like, I got that reference. I know who they are. But Yale, I feel like, is kind of a deep cut because Yale is for mostly the comic readers. I'm sure that mostly new people jumping into this won't even know who Yale is, but hopefully it gets them inclined to check out the comics to find out who Yale is. But like I said, this issue focused on Sage sulking and trying to discover the mystery of who her father actually is. But there's not a lot of answers being found and a lot of secrets being kept from her. And I feel like they should be exploring that more because next issue is the Morphin Trials where they're going to discover what color they are or if they're worthy to sort of link with the Morphin Grid, which I feel like this issue should have leaned into that more with a cliffhanger and sort of instead of getting them prepared for the um for the trial. So I feel like next month's issue or next year's issue, because like this is the last issue of Ranger Academy for the year. I feel like next week's, next month's issue is going to be the issue where we see Sage finally discover that she's a ranger and find out what color she is along with all the other students, or the other freshman students, and then we'll sort of dive into deeper adventures moving forward. But the thing is, if I remember correctly, we don't know if we're getting more issues of this past issue 4, because we've only got solicitations up to issue 4. And then in February, the next month, I believe we're getting the trade back. So I do wonder how many issues this comic is going to last. Uh, me and a nerd named Mark, we've made bets that this issue will probably last about 10 issues or probably enough to make it feel two trade backs at least. So maybe like 10 issues, 12 issues at least. But I'm not hating on Ranger Academy for the sake of hating on Ranger Academy. I think it's an all right series. It's got an interesting concept. But this is targeted for like Power Ranger fans of all ages. I'm sure it's targeted for the hardcore fans, but I feel like going into this series, like I mentioned at the start of the video, I was expecting sort of like this Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, this My Hero style of Power Ranger comics that everyone was sort of press releasing it as, but it hasn't been like that. It's been very sort of like this teen drama sort of series and that's not a bad thing. I'm sure that once I read this in tradeback form, 
after stop reading it from month to month, maybe my opinions will change on this uh, comic. But Ranger Academy, I feel like after issue four, when that drops, we'll see where it goes and we'll see what happens moving forward. And we'll probably find out at the end of this month when solicitations drop, to find out if we're actually getting more issues for this comic. Because I don't hate this issue. I feel like it's got a lot of potential to be a good ongoing series, but I feel like what I thought I was getting myself in for, I haven't gotten myself in for. So we'll see where it goes, see what happens. I'm excited to see the Ranger Trials as well. Like, that's an interesting concept that they touched on even in the free comic book day. So I'm very curious to see how that trial is going to go down. And we'll see what happens, because I'm sure that's going to have a big hero moment for Sage and her friends. But we'll see what happens in the end. So what do you guys think of Ranger Academy? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video or whatever that will be. So peace out, take care, and bye.